right now the, as you can see I'm glued oops, let's see here I'm gonna teach you how to create your own textures right now let's see you go to same objects I've done a shortcut to same objects now so and if we, I suppose you want to do for airplanes you go to that map and let's see I'm just gonna take one of the basic planes because they're the easiest one to create from let's see I take a 737 take that and then I'll take I have already done some of myself but take the texture and not a number on the side but just texture see here you have you can see that it's the white one then it's easier there it's the white one see you'll search for the uh, B737 and line 800 and line 1 and line T T and line T at last let's see you open image tool here you have, it will be like this let's see here there you draw that to image tool and it would be looking something like this if it does if it if it's just a little more um, uh, blacker or darker then it's something wrong with it so just restart la some then you go to image format and as you can see a dxt5 it is but you should change it to th uh, 32 bit there and it would become slightly darker there it's the right and then you go to file save as see you go to your desktop yeah, I would say and you save it as oh wait I'll go back so before you get, uh, go to your desktop you p will go and take that name so it is exactly the same and then you go to your desktop and change to bitmap dot bmp bmp there and you save it now there you got that. and uh, then after that you can open it in whatever whatever like paint or anything if you I'm using Photoshop CS4 but you can also use Photoshop elements or uh, CS, uh, CS3 and anything else but you can uh, I'm using uh, Photoshop so I, I can only show you how to do it in Photoshop let's see there we're starting it up Initializing panels. There and now you uh, come up like this. You see, uh, uh, there. And there you have the. This is how it's gonna look now. And you, if you want to, you go to. Uh, you can use your brushes on it and all that. I think I will use one of the brushes right now, but. First of all, I take the let's see here. Where the heck did it there? I take a, only a p uh, p paint bucket tool. Uh, let's see here. Um, I change the color. Oh wait, I would like to have some. Oh, I'll change change to gradient tool. I think. And we have it to metal. Metal. There we have a metal that I like. And we see. Uh, whoops! I did something wrong there. Undo gradient. Sorry. Let's see. There we go back, and I w begin with magic one tool. There, and it should just take the places there. So now, just to remember. It you will only see to go after the after the the uh, 
the windows here, so... So, you only can go after windows, and see here, uh, now we'll change the gradient tool. There. Yeah, don't look so good, but anyway, let's keep on uh, moving. See, now I'll change to my text tool, and I will choose, then I can write anywhere. So, let's see, I'll... 32 is that all right? Oh, I would will it will work. Change my own to a daredevil, I think. Or oh, diffused. I think I like diffused more. Yeah, and uh, it should come up with glueables, but uh, I'll take it. See, we change the color of it. So take a color you like. I would take, I would take red actually. It's kind of lucky for me. You saw my basic wallpaper. See here, and uh, just before I do a duplicate layer, uh, we'll do two blending options. Drop shadow. In shadow, I'll take almost all of these. I think I'll take these. Oh, just take those. Oh, take everything. Don't care about it. See there, I should. That would be too nice. There we have it. Okay, I think I will fill it up with some. Lighter. Bloody. It will look a lot of greater now, and the color overlay should be like light. So there. And okay, let's see here. We go to there and go duplicate layer. Then name it like that and then you move the with the tool and see here you have it right uh, see where you place the other one and take uh, about the same place there there well, I think that would be right just a little more down there now you have done one of these I would I think I'll just write some else uh, yeah I think I take this first just just to ease and just take a short video so you have done this like uh, video and uh, what am I saying? you have done this and now you go to file save as you take the not PDS you take see here BMP there we have it and you overwrite there and 32 bits okay and just no I say there now this is the one you ch uh, choose to write over that let's see here uh, now that you have your texture you should go to image tool and do the same thing but backwards so now we go to image format and change it from 32 to uh, wrong sorry from uh, 32 to DXT5 again so there you uh, I'm gonna do this again because I now I oh, accidentally pushed the wrong button sorry see sorry for the delay see image format DXT5 there we should have it and you go to save uh, sorry that's my place save as take the same name as before and should choose DDS and then dot DDS there save now you have a DDS file and then you go to sim objects again